some of those who do have a home. It is quite a mess. Now, some of the upperclassmen actually wanted to move into these brand new apartments at Prairie View. But take a look. When they arrived today, they tell us that their moving date was delayed several times. This is what they found. There's still dirt, construction equipment everywhere. Take a look at this. There's actually paint still being mixed and put on the walls. We talked with some parents who are here to move their students in. They say these are supposed to be furnished apartments, but some of the furniture wasn't here. It wasn't put together. Some of the parents have been putting the beds together. They've been putting couches together, and there's a lot of construction trash everywhere that hasn't been cleaned up. You can see a lot of the work not complete yet here. This has been really frustrating for parents and students. Uh, some of them say they actually had to pay even more money when they arrived today, when they thought they were coming to a brand new ready furnished apartment. It's just hectic, asking people if they can put my bed in, asking if I have a desk, asking if, you know, like where's my couch at, can they help me set it up because I'm here by myself, and, you know, just trying to get some help. Live pictures here. We've also been told some of the units don't have air conditioning yet. Now, the university has told us this is not under their jurisdiction. It's off-campus housing. They say they are trying to assist the students. I want to show you some of this construction trash you can see at the end of the hallway here. Uh, we have talked with management. They say they are apologizing to the students and the families. They are doing their best to remedy it, but we are still working to get more information about the plan as there are some other units that are not uh, finished at all and the students are not being allowed to move into. The minute video shows a Texas state trooper pulling Sandra Bland over and then arresting her. He was charged with assaulting a public service officer. City Council, uh, if you guys can please show up next Monday for City Council. Uh, Pan Pete Panther Hill residents are going to try to show up and give their complaints. But if they can't show up, the, I would want the Panther Party members to step in and just say some of the stories that you've heard from Panther Hill. Um, as many comment, uh, citizen comments you can get it, can get. Uh, and if you want to, go ahead and direct them at the mayor because we already sent the open letters request. We know who the culprit is. We know who the culprit is, so like, you know, the fire. In and on the outskirts of Houston is Prairie View A&M University, one of the oldest higher learning institutes in Texas, a historically black university with a thriving community and ever increasing enrollment. This university has been a home for many black activists throughout its 176 year existence. No other group exemplifies this long held mindset like Prairie View's own the Panther. The Panther Party came about after the Sandra Bland incident happened in 2015 and um, it was Josh and Urban who created the organization. I think it was somebody else, but the organization's original name wasn't the Panther Party, but the organization was to basically look at the issues that are within Waller County, like the police department, the criminal justice system, and um, also it expanded into um, issues that students were dealing with on a daily basis. So it's basically like an advocacy, political organization that uh, basically expanded into something bigger than what it is now. In 2015, um, of course, Sandra Bland happened. Um, from that event, there was a grooming that was started. The actual name of the grooming was called Join the Movement. And we started a quasi organization called Join the Movement Student Alliance. Um, a lot of different students a lot of different student organizations really just going for um, justice. They had, they had a march to change the street name, so I was immediately in the mix. And one thing that brought me into was a group message called Join the Movement. I mentioned that because 
months later, uh, um, another gentleman would, uh, or more people actually, it's 2015, so that's like a heat of Black Lives Matter. People were dying at the hands of police officers, and basically people were freaking out, and we're like, you know, what are we even gonna do? Like, what's, what's the solution here? From there, we began to look at the situation and the circumstance that caused Sandra Bland, and realized it was much bigger than Sandra Bland. It was a whole 140 plus year history when it came to Walla County's dealing with Prairie View all the way back when it used to be a slave plantation. And we decided, myself and the co-founder of Panther Party, uh, the official organization corporation, Irvin Bryant, we decided that it needs to be something much more bigger than just a groomer or a student alliance, but something actually more formal. We decided to meet, the join the movement, and from there, from that one meeting, it kind of snowballed into having a few meetings here and there, but it never solidified. So uh, Joshua Muhammad called us into a official meeting to say who's going to actually show up and be a part of a regular meeting group so we can actually get something done because it was just way too disorganized. The Sandra Blaine efforts weren't getting any results. Uh, we met and it was just two people, <laughs> Joshua Muhammad and myself. And from there, uh, you know, we got the name. We, we uh, gave our idea for our first uh, marketing campaign, Make P PV Great Again. And from there, uh, you know, we developed a structure and, and kept it moving. That was in July, tw or January 2016. And the ideology was that when you have, look at black people, we have, uh, we're Democrats by default. Um, some of us are Republicans, but generally we don't rock with Republicans. But we really don't have our own um, clear agenda. We just know that, you know, stop killing us and give us a job. But if I ask you what's the black agenda, a lot of people can't really tell me. So we decided in constant prayer view, especially an all black town, majority black town like prayer view, we didn't have a, a quasi political party that speaks to our specific agenda. And thus was born officially in 2017, uh, but it was actually before that when we were organizing, thus was born the Panther Party. They're involved in every type of political event that's on campus. They always make sure that they're known um, towards what's going on currently. So just like how we have a voter registration problem, they're very heavily involved on it. They're sitting aside with Mr. Jackson, with Ignite, and we're trying to make sure we tackle as many students as we possibly can to get them to vote. The party has a wide range of things that it can get into as far as activism on campus, branching out and reaching, not just Waller County or Prairie View a and but like, you know, further and beyond. And, um, I think that people who join the Panther Party can find something that not every organization offers. And it's it's intelligent conversation, it's um, a focus on, on the black agenda, it's a focus on the student agenda, as well as keeping it at the forefront of SGA's mind, as well as like, you know, an overall love for the students and the campus life and things like that. But yeah, it's just being aware and being black and being as educated as possible so that you don't fall into the traps that most people do when it comes to, you know, um, rooting for yourself and rooting for people who are all of black descent.